Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here for RC Nightmare. This video I'm going to talk a little bit about battery safety and maintenance, proper handling of batteries, different types. Here in front of me I have a few packs as you can see. Two Nikomata Hydrate packs, a six, 6 and a 7 cell. And I have a 2 cell hard case and a 3 cell soft case LiPo. To speak on Nikomata Hydrate first, the reason these are so widely used in ready to run cars and things of the sort is because they're generally really low maintenance. You don't have to worry a whole lot about maintaining them. There's very little to do, but there are a few things you want to keep in mind. As you're running these packs, make sure you don't overheat them. Now when you're, when you're talking about overheating a pack, if it's too hot to hold on to, it's too hot. And generally speaking, if you do overheat one, you'll notice that it overheats because the heat shrink on here will start to shrivel up or split or crack, and they'll start to release a, a weird odor too if they get too hot. But the simplest test is the hand test. If you can't hang on to it, if it's too uncomfortable, it's too hot. Well, if you're running too hot, there's a few things that could cause that. Usually it's gearing, you want to gear down your truck, but just keep in mind, anytime you overheat one of these, you're damaging the pack and you may not be able to get it back. So don't overheat Nikomata hydrates. In terms of charging, they're fairly simple. Get yourself a smart, or we call it peak detection charger, that knows when to stop charging. Here's an example of a charger that comes with ready-to-run vehicles. This is a smart charger. We sometimes call this a dumb charger because you just plug into the wall and there's no features, but it does know when to stop charging and it's a very slow charge. And the slower the charge, the better and safer it is for the battery. So if you have one of these and you want to upgrade, you may want to look at what we call a smart charger, a peak charger, or also called a fast charger. This model here happens to do more than one type of battery. You can buy some that will just fast charge nicomata hydrides or it might be able to handle other types. When you're dealing with a fast charging, you want to make sure that you're not exceeding the limit of the battery. Now right in the charger manual and maybe even on the battery, it's going to tell you the fastest rate you're going to want to charge at. Make sure you consult your specific battery specifications and your charger specs to know the right rate. But again, the right test when you're charging is too hot is too hot. And when you're charging, the battery should get warm to the touch, but not much warmer than that. If you're overheating it, all you're doing is losing power. Yeah, you might be charging it faster, but you're actually losing runtime, and over time, you're just going to damage the pack, and it's going to be no good. So with Nikomon Hydrates, we just want to make sure that we don't get them too hot, just warm. Now, LiPos are a whole nother world. With LiPo batteries, we have a lot more power potential. They can handle a lot more current. They can be charged a little bit faster. They can be run harder. We generally don't have them overheating. Now, LiPos might get warm, but if you ever have a LiPo that's more than warm, borderline hot, something's wrong. You're either running the pack too hard, or something is set up wrong. So keep in mind with LiPos that you almost should never feel them get warm. When you're charging them, again, you'll never feel a LiPo get warm when you're charging unless you have a really high-end battery that you can charge faster than an hour. So with LiPos, if you ever feel heat coming off these things, something's wrong, stop using it and put it in a safe spot. A really good investment is a LiPo bag. Some people use different things. You can get a cinder block, some ammo cases, anything that's fireproof is good to store these in. These LiPo bags are sold anywhere you buy a LiPo. It's a Kevlar bag. It's got a big Velcro strap on it. You can throw all your batteries in here if you think they're damaged or just storing them. Put it in there. Set it somewhere safe, not indoors. Ideally, you want to set this outside somewhere on a non-fire or on a fireproof surface. But again, with LiPos, we treat them a little differently because they have so much more energy potential that if something does go wrong, they can start a fire and they'll burn anything in contact. So make the investment. Get yourself a LiPo bag. And you're going to know that when you're, when you're charging and storing them, they're safe. Now, a word on charging. Again, this charger I got in front of me does do, not, does do lipos and nicomata hydrates. So if you have a charger like this, make sure every time you're setting it up that you're not assuming it's on the right setting. If it's got the ability to do more than just the pack you're putting on it, you also have the chance of setting it up wrong and trying to charge it on a wrong setting. This particular model has a balancer built into it. This is an absolute must for lipos. Some people argue you don't have to balance them. If you're not balancing your lipos, you're just stupid or lazy. I hate to say it, but as cheap as these things are now, without a balancer, the chance of ruining your lipo is a little bit greater. It's a very cheap investment. Your lipos will last a lot longer. So make sure that you're balancing. Make sure you have the charter set up right for your battery. And if you're not sure what those settings are, again, consult your battery specifications and your charger specs. Generally speaking, though, chargers these days are set up, so all you have to do is match what the battery says right on it. Here I have a 7.4 volt, so when I go to my charger, I choose a 7.4 volt, and then we match the capacity. Here we have a 5,000 mAh. Some people call that MA. MAh stands for milliamp hours, and again, that's a rating of how much energy the battery has inside of it. So make sure when you're charging, you're matching those specs. Plug it into the balancer, make sure all your specs match, and always charge in a LiPo safe bag, and you know, the chance of you having a LiPo fire is going to be slim to none. 
In 10 years of dealing with light bulbs, the only time I've ever had one start on fire is when I was trying to start on a fire. I mischarged it, but I caught it in time. I had it in a sack so it didn't start on fire. I decided to blow it up for fun. I don't recommend it, but again, that goes to show I've charged these things thousands of times. If you follow all the right rules, you won't have a problem with it. So keep that in mind. One final note I will say, especially with LiPos, if you're charging on a charger like this, you'll notice I can pull out the charge lead. You may have more than one of these things. You might have more than one connector. A very dangerous thing to do is to get in the habit of pulling that charge lead out whenever you're done. I've seen so many people that plug in their charger to their battery. Let's say it's done charging and they want to disconnect it. They'll rip the leads out from the charger. I'm going to do this as a demonstration for you, but this is extremely dangerous because what we have here now is a battery that's hooked up to these leads that are exposed and they're live. If you touch them, you're going to get a really good spark and that's very, very dangerous. The chance of the shorting out permanently is pretty good and you'll definitely start it on fire doing that. So always make sure that you leave the leads plugged in your charger and always pull it apart by the connector. Just a little word on charger safety. Now if you guys have any more in-depth questions about how to charge lipos or nicomoto hydrates properly or you're not sure how you do it, just comment below or better yet, post up at rcnightmare.com slash forum. We have a section in there specifically for light bulb batteries and charging. A lot of smart people there. We can get all your questions answered. Thanks for watching this video guys. We'll see you soon.